You alright YouTube? How's it going? Welcome to another edition of Beer Dad with me the Beer Dad. Now today, as you can see, we are reviewing the last of the Sharp Quartet. Uh, we've already done Doom Bar, Sea Fury and Atlantic in previous um, videos. So this is the last one that I can get hold of in the shops. Now I know there is a few others. There's certainly a Coastal. I think there's a Pale Ale and I think there's a, a Sharps Original. And I've got a feeling that they're only available from the Sharps Brewery. Or at least Cornwall, as I've not been able to locate them anywhere else other than there. So, um, it's a 4.8 um, red IPA. I'll just read you the, the guff on the back. Um, aroma, uh, ripe fruit, roasted malt and spicy. Taste is full ripe sweetness and citrus. Finishes uh, roasted and berry fruit. Best served chilled. Food pairing is charcuterie, that's meat to me and you. Um, smoked fish or a cheddar plowman's. Now, I can see this going well with plowman's. Anyway, um, eight nautical miles off land's end lies the infamous Red Reef uh, Wolf Rock. The inspiration for this exceptional red, red IPA, named after the eerie howl uh, that once echoed over the Atlantic Ocean as the wind forced its way through the rock's craggy granite fissures. The real the the uh, the reef is now home to Wolf Rock Lighthouse. It's a nice little bottle, nice little labelling. Um, as we know, as I've done before with other videos, the ones Sharpsbury founded in nineteen ninety four by Bill Sharp in Cornwall in Rock in Cornwall. Um, I will put the usual um, attachment to the website in the description at the end of this video. So let's see what this holds for us. Now I've not had this before. Um, there's the lid, it just has sharps written on it, so let's see, there's another one, that's gonna go, lively, look at the head on that, right, let's have a little look. put a bit of light through it. I like to get through it, of course. Let's see if I can move this down a touch. There we go. No, nope. nothing's coming through that. Let's hold this to the normal light. There's a good two and a half, three fingers I've had there. I am massive. Right, let's have a sniff. It's definitely some caramel, caramel malt there. Bit of orange, bit of spice, toffee, definitely toffee. Okay, well, let the head go down a little bit. It's massive, it's creamy, very bubbly. Uh, let's have a little leave it there for a sec. In fact, let me see if I can get this going. Uh, see, that's rubbish. Okay, let's give it a taste. Pretty much tastes like it smells. There's a bit of a um, caramel sweetness to it. There's a bit of citrus, there's not a great deal. Um, there's very little in the way of hops. There's a touch of a dry <coughs> a dry finish to it. Um it's not as fizzy as, it, as the head makes out. Um, it's got a medium, soft, medium carbonation. Could just be the way I poured it, I suppose. So let's try again. It's very drinkable. Very drinkable. I just don't know if I could do more than one of these, if I'm being honest. Um, it is what it is, I suppose. It's not an IPA. It's more of a red ale. Um, it's creamy. But to be a but for it to be a red IPA, it certainly needs more hops thrown into it. It's not um no. It's not just a red ale. It's not an IPA. Easy drinkable though, if I'm being perfectly honest. Very easy to drink. Um, I 
because I could probably quaff all this quite easily. Couldn't do another one, though. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of a little disappointed, really. <coughs> Excuse me. As the other three are really good, especially the Doom Bar. It's exceptional. <coughs> it's just... I don't know. just let me down a little bit. I think went sort of red and red IPA. On the bottle. And the stuff I read on the internet about it, it's read quite well. But it needs for it to be a red IPA. For it to be an IPA, it definitely needs to pack more, excuse me, more hops than what there is already in it. Out of 10, 6.5, 7. It's a is it the worst drink I've ever had in my life? No. Would I buy it again? Probably not. I'd pick, if I had a choice, I'd pick Doom Bar every day. Um, yeah, it's a bit samey. Really, 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 really not impressed with it. Which is a shame, because I've been looking forward to doing this one, but I've had this in my fridge for quite a while. I've let it go up to room temperature as well, obviously to let all the flavours out. But I'm getting... That was what I thought I was going to get. Still, it is what it is. Unlucky sharps. Right, so, one last mouthful. As I've said, if you've had it before, please tell me in the comments below. If you haven't, please try it. I am support your local breweries. Um, if you like the video, Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Usual stuff. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. If you want to follow me, if you not haven't already, then please do. Um, hopefully the next review I do will be a little bit more interesting than, than this. I apologise. Oh, before I go. Something I meant to show you before. I cracked open this drink. I um, went to Morrison's today for our American friends. It's like a Walmart. Only not as... Um, not as big. Anyway, 10 quid. 10 whole English pounds. What me that? Five litres of Old Speckled Hen. Now, I haven't reviewed Old Speckled Hen before. And when I review it, I'll review it from the keg. And I'll also compare it to, review, review, uh, also compare it, to it in the bottle. And I'll also re, re, um, compare it in the can. So we'll have three little reviews on the go. See if there's any difference in this and the other two. Anyway, ten pound Morrison's. They also had, they also had Hobgoblin Gold as well. For a tenner, um, five pound off each of them, and they had Bud, Budweiser, and Warsteiner. Oh, I quite like Warsteiner as a lager, and I'm not a lager drinker. But get out there, get some Morrison's, buy these because it'll cheer you up. It's basically eight them. They're just shy of nine pints for ten pounds, so it's just it's just over a pound a pint. You can't go wrong. Anyway. I go finish this. To my disgust, but it's not a it's not a drain pour. It's not a drain pour. Right, so that's me done. As I say, I'll be back again tomorrow. I would imagine, hopefully with something a little bit better. I've got bucket loads of stuff in that fridge there, just waiting to be done. Um, I'll get something that I'll pick up something that challenges me taste buds, and will hopefully challenge yours. Anyway, in the meantime, hail ale everybody, hail ale.